Hello you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm just at chemist here. Got him Dennis. Better job than making tea in it, wink chemist. Right then, let's blow. Let's gel on. Uh, some interesting fights over the weekend. Uh, have a quick chat now, aren't we, up to office? Uh, Tyrone Nurse thought he got caught by more shots than he normally gets caught with. Uh, is he on slide? I don't know. I don't know what goes on in his camp, but he's got super skills, but I thought he had an off night at the office. Uh, but he got the wind, didn't he? Sometimes you just got to get the W, haven't you? Uh, Josh Whaley won every round. Every single round, and his dad Mick is happy with that. Uh, that's good, isn't it? All our fighters won. Says a lot for the team, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, but Josh Whale looked fantastic, I thought. He didn't think we were a tough kid who was strong, durable. Rough, tough, rugged. Adam Smith. Rough, tough, rugged. <laughs> Bean. Mr. Bean. Could have been, would have been, should have been. Never been. Beanie! I'm on to you, Beanie. The net is closing in on you, Bean. Right, uh, Josh won. Pleased about that. I hope that's not leaking there. There's always problems, isn't there, whenever I go out of the house. Whoa. Cheers for these bullseye. I only wanted one, I didn't want five. Great scrounger lately, aren't I? With screen wash. Not leaking, is it? No. Uh good jobs at once here. Josh Wheel, well done. Right, on to Tommy Frank. Thought Tommy Frank got beat. I think I said this on an interview with him, aren't we? Oh, I thought he got beat. It's one of them things, isn't it? Sometimes the it depends what angle you're looking at from. I thought he got beat. Uh, he got the decision. That's good, isn't it? There might be times in his career where you think he won and he don't get the decision. So it it's rough for it's small, isn't it? I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to interview him today, but. You know, I've, I told Glyn Rhodes on the phone Saturday night, I said, I thought he got beat, Glyn. So I'm not going to say what Glyn said, but what I will say is that uh, the kid had 65 Muay Thai fights at a great, great level. World class guys who were fighting at Muay Thai. Uh, should Dennis have told Glyn about that? I don't know. He obviously didn't. But. Does that matter? It's boxing, isn't it? But the kid were no more warrior we fought. They've got to make that Sonny Edwards fight now, aren't they? Surely. Got to make it. Otherwise, what are we in boxing for? What? We, what? It's a fight, isn't it? It's a fight. It's a fight. It's a fight. So, let's make the fight. Let's make it. What do you think? What do you think, Sonny? Eh? Hey? What do you think, little Sonny? My old tootie fruity. 
Oh. You know what? I'm going to go back to green magic trees because I think they're the best. Old school. Remember when green ones came out? It was green then blue, wasn't it? Everybody, I remember running around like an headless chicken. Oh, they've got blue ones now! Dad, look! Blue magic trees! I don't need a magic tree, me son. I'll go pub. Into work. Not like a nice smelling car. But, uh, but yes, I thought that it were a good show. Nobody can knock that show, can they? For TV. Great show on TV, and uh, people should be should be happy that somebody's having a go at that level because it's not Eddie Earn level is it what we're playing about out here now all you hardcore boxing fans probably know all this but you know when you go on to events that have happened the old results from weekend if you look on the right hand side if you look on the right hand side of all the events that have gone on they have like a star for each fight don't they now if you look at the weekend I think one show it only had it only had one result on one of them big shows down south. I don't know what had gone on there. The whole rest of them were a peak. Now, if that's true, Dennis's show were rated second best show at weekend in the UK. So that's good, isn't it? Isn't that good? And he were on telly. We're only one on telly out of all of them. So I think that's good. But you, when you're at bottom and you're climbing ladder, you've got to put good shows on. That's my opinion anyway, but we'll see what it's got to say up here, won't we? If I say, oh, I thought he got beat then, Tommy, he'll go, oh, Mr. Controversy. Nobody's allowed an opinion on what I'm so offended. Porky, little Tommy you saying got beat, I'm offended. Hey, listen, I thought Sheedy beat Tommy Langford. And out of them two knockdowns at end one of them were a genuine one. They didn't get it. Fort Sheedy beat Tommy Langford and didn't get the decision. It's rough with it's smooth, isn't it? Other people thought Tommy won. I wanna I wanna say it's the close to what people are making out, but you have to take the rough with the smooth. He's fighting at home, isn't he? So he brought a bit of a crowd with him that uh I nearly said another word then. But Chinese that guy or Japanese or what it not or is it Noblinese? I don't know. Oh Thai in it. I thought he was a good fighter. But onwards and upwards in it. So uh, I was reading them comments section this morning and uh, people are saying to me, Porky, why don't you do a video? Best trainers. Oh, I'd do that any time of week, but it'd be night, wouldn't it? Yeah, what can you do? But onwards and upwards, isn't it? I suppose it's. Uh, November 29th now. November 29th. Cash Ali, Josh Whale, Tommy Frank, I think he'll be reined in a bit now. That's what I think will happen now. I think it'll be Cash Ali, Josh Whale. Sufjan Ahmed, three, Keenan Wainwright, four, Kane Salvin, five. I think they'll get them out again. Steady on top. I think they'll get them lads out. I don't think Tommy will be out in November. Rain him in now while New Year. Sit back and evaluate. What do you reckon, Glenn? Rain Tommy in. Oh. 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 
today. Shout out to Paul at Leeds, how you doing? Paul at Barnsley. The queue's Saturday now, needs another couple of coats of that stuff. Waiting ages, aren't I? Another five days won't hurt, will it? I can't wait to get my hands on it. I played with a right queue of a day, right? The tip on it was awful. You ain't got a good tip on your queue, what the point? No good, is it? Russell thing on uh, Twitter somebody sent me. Gary Russell. He's uh, he's with Santa Cruz's dad and that and he's talking like he's some stalker psychopath robber. Oh, I don't know who we're coming out with but uh, what all that about? He should be ashamed of himself. Should be ashamed of yourself, Gary Russell, carrying off like that. How do you think you are? Is that the same guy that quit against Loma? Don't call me on that. Sure it is. Behaving like that, what's it all about? We're all taking this promoting too far now. My ass here. Leeds, how you doing? I'm gonna do a shout out once. I've got a short term memory loss, and I Paul. What can you do? Shout out to my mate Frank Smith, sunning himself in Spain. You lucky sod. With chaps. I should be there, I ain't got a passport. I've lost all uh, I've lost all faith against uh, we, we passport control people. I don't like flying anyway, me. I'm a boatman. So I am a boatman. You've got more chance if boat sinks than if plane crashes, haven't you? In my opinion, I'm entitled to it. Yeah, I wonder if Kel Brook's going to come back then. I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed with Kel Brook, to be honest, because... This is how I look at it, right? This is how I look at it. Kel Brook, he left Dominic, didn't he? Never said a word, went to Fuki. Now he's left Fuki. People are saying he's gone to Dominic Ingle. He hasn't said a word again, has he? So I think that's a bit classless, bottleless. I think it is. I think it's bottleless. He should have gone and said something to Fuki, shouldn't he? But Fuki's not bothered, he's building for the future, isn't he? Maybe Fuki were too nice about it all and nice guys finished second. I don't know, he'll, have, he'll learn from that. It's like Colwell learnt for a minute, and that were that were all a bit of a mix up, wasn't it? Colwell, Kelbrook, and Dominic. So that's my opinion, anyway. Seems to me that Dominic, when people leave him, is like a girlfriend, isn't he? he? Wants you back, doesn't he? I want you back. Gotta get it just to you. I want you back. Did you want him back, Dominic? Oh, come back. Come back. Come back, I want me 10%. Woo, woo. <coughs> my kids do that. <laughs> Here we go, let's get on inside. Can't get through that lane, so we're just gonna have to get in close. But uh, here we are, straight over. Here we are, straight on to M1. But I think it's all a bit messy to be honest. I think some people have got to hold their hands up and say, look, 
we've had a bit of a mess of Kells Korea. Now Kells Korea, in my opinion, is in the state it's in because of his team. Whoever's making the decisions in that team clearly didn't have Kells interest at all. All they wanted were them big checks coming in. Them big checks would have come anyway. I mean, let's have it right, Kell Brook were a millionaire before he fought Golovkin, he was already a millionaire, so what? What are we in the sport for? Yeah, I know it's prize fighting and you've got to win a prize. But this is how I look at it. You've got to win a prize because it's prize fighting, but putting a kid in a, in, in a putting a guy in a fight 13 pounds higher than his normal weight with a killer that's like putting Gen Genegy Golovkin in with a light heavyweight in it and making light heavyweight come in at 173 that's my opinion or would Genegy Golovkin come down and fight Kel? 13 pound less, would he? Would he heck, he's not going to give his advantages up, is he? I mean, let's have it right. Genegy Golovkin was the away fighter. So why why were they cowtailing to him? I'll tell you why they were cowtailing, because Eddie Hearn kept running around saying, Kel's a beast! Kel's a beast! He's really a super middleweight! He's really a super middleweight! He's a beast! He's massive! He'll be bigger than Golovkin, it ring! They kept giving it all that, but it would have been artificial, wouldn't it? Now, he showed you what Eddie Hearn thought about Kel Brook, didn't it? But Eddie Hearn's basically only game in town, isn't he, if you want good money. He's the only game in town at the moment. Same as all these rumours I'm hearing that Josh Taylor's signed to good with Eddie Hearn. But they're not going to bring it out in press yet. I mean, pff, everybody wants to go there, don't they? Because he's number one boy, isn't he, Eddie? Uh, you'd have to say he's giving Bob Arum run around, wouldn't you? Through gritted teeth. He's not bad. I think much took Fiesta though, we'll see you later. Uh, so, it's one of them things, isn't it? It's one of them things, but let's hope that Kel Brook's getting his weight down and he gets fighting again. Will he come back at 147? Yeah, I think he will. I mean, with what they've done to Kel Bro, you won't put it past them sticking him in at 140, would you? I wouldn't. How he's been treated, his management should be appalled. What they've done to him, they should have put the foot down, shouldn't they? Showed a bit of control instead of listening to bullshit. They're supposed to be boxing people. Dominic Ingle's been around it all his life. He knows what it's. He knows we have weight classes for a reason. It's not that long ago Dominic Ingle were questioning Gerald McClellan moving up eight pounds to fight Nigel Benn. Well how about Kel Brook moving up 13 pounds and two weight classes to fight Golovkin, who was a killer puncher just like Nigel Benn were. I didn't hear you coming out with all that danger and fighters for safety is paramount and all that then Dominic, did I? So why don't you come on channel Dominic and answer some real questions or I'll come down to your gym anytime you want I'll come down to your gym or come up to Richard Towers gym you can ask questions I can ask you questions about why Kel Brook ended up fighting Golovkin whose decision was it meaning who said no we're definitely going to go it was there a vote for him to go in there with a killer at 160 pound and why did you put him in with Earl Spence, who's got a better KO ratio than Golovkin? Why did you put him in with him for fight straight after? Oh, let me think. Oh, that was another pay-per-view, wasn't it? So the fighter's best interest is not at heart. That's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it.
them things, innit? It's boxing, innit? That's, it's like us putting Tommy Frank in with... Uh, to put Tommy Frank in with a uh, bantamweight or something. Super fly, innit? Hang on. Bantam. Super bantam. We're not going to do it, are we? We're not going to put... You won't put Tommy in with Josh Whale, would you? I know Josh is at featherweight now, but last year you won't put Tommy in with Josh Whale, would you? Because he'd get flogged, wouldn't he? He'd get flogged. We have weight divisions for a reason. Our fighters are not superheroes, are they? That's my opinion, isn't it? You're all these people who are blowing bubbles up people's arseholes. They don't think about the fighters, they're thinking about themselves. Thinking about keeping that money coming in and building the property for portfolios folios up. I'm not bothered about fighters. I'm not bothered about fighters at all. They use the last person that anybody's bothered about. Do you think Eddie Earn cares about fighters? Come on. Does he really? All them people blowing bubbles at Eddie's arsehole, they're not blowing them when he's not answering the phone to them though, are they? Look, it is what it is, it's boxing, isn't it? There's no mates, it's all false. Get it into your heads, or you turn in pro. Look after yourself, it's all false. It's an illusion. It's a ooh, 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 illusion. It's an illusion that anybody cares for you. Only person who will care for you really should be your family. Do trainers care for the fighters? I think 80% do, yeah. There's a 20% lot that don't. Go on, get round then. Jesus. 20% of them do. Chris Smedley, he cares for Liam, sided with Liam, hasn't he? Split up with Dennis. He's put his train. He's put, he's put his fight here before his future, hasn't he? You've got to commend that, haven't you? You've got to commend that. Are you going to put Get Mick Whale putting Josh Whale in with a lightweight? Ain't gonna happen, is it? Yeah, we'll put him in. We uh, we'll put Josh Whale in with Luke Campbell. He's on the slide, Luke. Not gonna happen, is it? Go on then. Sheffield City Council guy, crawling, creepy crawler. That reminds me, Dennis has curbed his motor, so he's gonna want a tyre. Well, left to me, you ain't it? Okay, I need a tyre. I bet he's bent all steering and lot, Dennis. <laughs> hey, all alloy scraped and that. Do you know them chrome ones? They'll never see chrome again, them wheels. We'll never see chrome again. It'll be just in graded muck. Oh, look. Chrome's out anyway. No one wants chrome. It's crap. All that. Oh well, what do you know? Not here. I'm back here. Okay. like parking there, I always get worried that people are going to come flying around this corner and tra trash me motor. It's not just us on road, is it? You have to watch for it's other people, innit? I'm going to park here where it's nice and safe. I'll be able to sleep if I've got a scratch on my car. My fight here looks better. I don't going to hit path, I go on it. I'm not scraping my alley for no one. So I think that's about it really. Let me just have a little look at this here. Uh, yeah, well. Anthony Tomlinson won, didn't he, on Steffi Bull's show Saturday. He beat Rob Hunt. Now the haters are going to say, Rob Hunt, 
How's he in an IBO Continental title fight at welterweight? He's just beat a guy, Nort, and 38. Yeah, I can see that, but Anthony iced him, didn't he? That's not his fault, isn't he? He's going to take the opportunities, isn't he, Anthony Tomlinson? He moves to 11 and 0 with six, having an early bath. So, six early doors, as Big Ron would say. Uh, but Rob Hunt, well, I mean, he'd been beat by Willie Warburton. He's got 155 losses, hasn't he? So, is it a good win for Anthony? No, but he got a belt, hasn't he? So, he's moving forward, isn't he? He's 11 and 0 anyway, he's still a novice, isn't he, really? Uh, get that there. Not mine. Take that in there. So it's all it's all good positive stuff in it. It's nice and positive. Uh, how many minutes we on here? Twenty six. It's all good positive stuff. So I'm happy. Get this down, man. <laughs> Be a good fight, that Darren Tetley against Anthony Tomlinson or Tyrone Nurse against him. Tyrone Nurse against Anthony Tomlinson. I think that's a great fight, me. I think that's a great fight. Oops. Great then. So peace out, keep on shucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport.